What are you saying, YouTube? Like I said in my last video, I've got a few things I want to get done to the ST before Ford Fair. Today, we're respraying the vents. Now, the weather is shit today, and the vents actually look alright when the weather's shit because it kind of covers up the uh, peely bits. I'm going to have to do it in the garage, so we've got to move my girlfriend's car, put the ST in the garage, and spray it in there. Gonna have to quickly tidy up all this if I'm uh, if I'm gonna get the ST in there. Long. As you can see now, they look perfectly fine. Looks pretty cool actually. Some really cool beading. Really, they're hiding up the fact that they are ruined. <laughs> See, I'm going to quickly dry these off and I'll show you what I mean. Time has brought us here to this land of hopes. Now look at them. See how their clear coat's peeled off? Same on this side. They just look so tacky when they get like this. And even the black's kind of dulled underneath this weird clear coat. Now originally I planned to just take these out and replace them, but I couldn't find the size of the ones that I've got here. I thought they were the standard RS kind of bonnet vents. But when I looked online, measured them out, it wasn't wasn't fitting. When I, I got like the cut out kind of blueprint printed off from a company, put that on they were way too small so i think i'm literally just going to respray them try and finish them up make them look nice again and uh yeah hopefully i don't go as minging as they have this time so what are we going to need for this some sandpaper i've got 600 1000 and 2000 grit some gloss spray black some clear coat some masking tape or i'm going to use pvc a bowl of water something to mask off the surrounding areas and obviously a can of monster for anyone that's curious, the sun strip is holding well. Looks pretty sick. Another also, Ford Fair. I'm there. Mentioned it in the last video, mentioned it in the video beforehand. I'm there on the Ford Daily stand. Come and say hello. I'm gonna have stickers. Uh, I'm gonna be there the Ford Daily lot. There's like 40 odd cars on our stand. It's gonna be wicked. Come grab a sticker, come grab some Ford Daily merch, come and say hello. Another shout out as well, I have to give it to my man at Rated Vinyl. He's uh he's the guy that's printed off my stickers for me. I'm gonna quickly show you his Instagram here. So this is his Instagram. Go and give him a follow. Any um, stickers you need printed off, go and talk to him. He, he's your guy. Basically, I had a lot of trouble trying to get my stickers printed. Yeah, I went to quite a few companies, and they were all saying that like the stickers too thin, you can't really work with it. And they, they, they basically said no. And this guy, he, he said yeah. He, um, he went out of his way, redesigned my logo for me to uh, to make it fit on a vinyl transfer because there was like some wavy edges and stuff. So honestly, if you want any stickers printed off, it's a good price as well. Go and hit him up. If you go through his website, use the code RV10 and you'll get some money off. And also anything over £5 on his eBay store um, automatically gets 10% off. Trust me, he went well out of his way and even like got them printed off in time for Ford Fair. So they, they should be arriving this week. Good lad, go and check him out. The first thing we need to do is mask off underneath the vent so we don't get any spray on the engine or any of the components down there. And then dry off this area and mask all around here so that we're not going to get any overspray. Travel to the place your inner child was burned. That'll do. Well, I just realised I've masked this off underneath here and I need to wet sand it first, so that's just going to get wet. Dumbass. My plan is to try and get tape right underneath there because when I'm sanding, I want to, I'd rather when you sand in the edges, sand the tape than obviously sand the, uh, the paint on the bonnet. So I'm going to try and get some tape around here. <laughs> Just so it doesn't ruin the uh, 
so that I don't come in and sand the paint paintwork instead. So I'm going to do that off camera on the other side. So that's them both masked off. You can tell now just how just how crap they are if it if it focuses. Focus. Focus. Doesn't want to focus. But well, yeah, you can just tell like that there. Look at that. That is nasty. So what we're going to do? We're going to go in with the 600 grit. Wet sand them down. Then we're going to go in with the 1000. Wet sand them down. Then we're going to go in with the 2000. Hopefully smooth it off. Give it a finish. And uh, then we're going to spray. We're going to cover this up afterwards. Sorry. Uh, so we don't get any other spray. Then we're going to spray them black. Then we're going to wait for it to dry. And then we're going to clear coat it. One thing you'll notice as well. This one does have a little crack. So the spray might not sit too nice on that. But like you can't really tell. This is the first run through with the 600 grit. It's taken a lot of the clear coat off. Autofocus wasn't on, that's why it wasn't focusing. Here we go. So yeah, as you can see, it's taken a lot of the clear coat off. There's a few little bits kind of up here that I need to dig in. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna try and get like, probably a screwdriver or something, wrap some tape around it. Tape? Wrap some sandpaper around it and get in them little cracks. It's feeling smooth. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. You can tell now. Look how grim that one looks. So that's prior to sanding. Stage one sanding. I'm not going to go into the uh, 1000 grit yet. I'm just going to go again 600. Take off all the clear coat of the 600. Then smooth up with the uh, 1000 and 2000. There's the second stage. Still needs to go in again a little bit more. There's still a little bit of that clear coat left in the cracks. It's really hard to get down there. Obviously, it's kind of you've got about 74 different angles to try and get there. And there's actually a little lip on that there so it makes it even more difficult i'm going to go over it again i probably should have realistically got some more aggressive sandpaper um because i'm going in quite hard but it is really smooth and i probably won't have to finish up with the 2000 but i probably will as well another thing i wouldn't use this as a guide i'm not a professional spray painter i'm just you know random guy spraying his car in a garage uh, a lot of the time whenever i'm spraying stuff a few people are like oh my god you should do this do that oh my god there's going to be other spray the I haven't had any issues, I haven't had any overspray. I'm doing it in my garage, I'm not too bothered, it's my car. So, I'm not, I'm not bothered about it. Uh, don't follow these as a guide. I would recommend do your own research if you're gonna do it yourself. If you want it done very well, just take it and get it done professionally. But yeah, I'm not a professional. Don't follow these as a guide. It's me on my car being an idiot. Also, again, this is literally just to clean them up for Ford Fair so they don't look as tacky. I am still on the hunt for a new set. So if any of you know where I can grab some, and the measurements are... So that's the longest side is sitting at like 27 centimetres. It goes up to 26, 13 on the outer side. They're a little bit smaller on the inside. So on the inside, it's about 23 by 8. Yeah, if any of you can, uh, can point me in the right direction of replacements, let me know. I'll give you a shout out. Round one done. Also, I'm gonna give some shout outs to some channels that you guys can follow if you want more ST content, like Fiesta ST content, Mark Sixes. We got R23 Owl, if it focuses. 798 subs. Head over there, let's get him to a K. That'd be nice. Let's get him to a K before Ford Fair. He's got some good videos out there. Do you know what I mean? He's going to a lot more car meets than me. He's doing a lot more stuff than me at the moment. So if my stuff's boring, go and head over there. Next little shout out. If you want some more content, go and head over to FF04ORD. Um, I've been chatting to him for a while on Instagram. He's, he's a good lad. He's doing some uh, some good videos. Some different stuff that other people aren't covering on Fiesta ST150s. I want to try and get him to 100 subs this weekend. So all that takes is 37 of you to pop over there. Go ahead over there. Let's get him to 200 by next week. Go on. He's a good lad. He's got some good videos. And if you're after more content, because I know I've been a bit slow at the moment with content, go and head over and give him a little sub. So yeah, I know as of recent, well, like last month or month before, I've been a bit slow on uh, on the video. So I thought if you guys want more content, go head over there. There's literally Mark 6 SD150 specific content from other people. And they're doing some, some great videos. Go and check them out. Because I'm a busy guy at the moment and I'm trying to crack out a few videos when I can. If you want more content, head over there as well. It's a nice little community. Just stop for a snack. 
Got some rye cracker things with some egg and some turkey bacon and some spinach. Mmm. With dry sanding, it seems to take off that clear coat a lot better. Don't know why I didn't start with dry coat. I'm not a professional, like I mentioned, but um, dry coat? Dry sanding. Yeah. Seems to take off the, the top layer of nastiness a lot, a lot better. We're going to go in for the uh, 1000. The dry sanding actually has taken it up quite nice. So yeah, we're going to go in for the 1000 grit. And then probably skip the 2000 and just start spraying because you know I'm I'm a professional here. We're doing professional things. Why in the camera getting on the tripod? Another thing, this was supposed to be full prep for Ford Fair, like not a clean of the car, but like the little tacky bits that I showed you in the previous video. So the headlights were supposed to get done. Um because the tint's gone all crap and yeah, I'll, I'll show you here. You you saw it in the previous video if you watched it. But yeah, I've got the uh where is it? I ordered the tint removal stuff. I don't know, but it there it is. So I ordered the tint removal stuff and the lens tint again so I can remove the old one, sand down them, refurbish the headlights and then put new tint on. But they only sent the lens tint remover, which is annoying because Ford Fair's in a week, so now I've got to do it midweek. Which is long, but it does mean there's probably going to be another video doing this. Separate to this, some more content for you guys. Uh, and there is another video as well of a mod that I bought for the car. It's a pretty good one. Might be able to see it in there. If I zoom in. There's a box somewhere. It's, that's, the car's filled with a load of work junk at the moment. I've got the rear seats out. But yeah, there's a box in there with uh, something in there that I'm going to be putting on the car. Some people know what it is, some people don't, but I'm going to hold off. Uh, that, hopefully before Ford Fair, I've got to wait for another bit to arrive. If it does, then you might have two more videos before Ford Fair, then the Ford Fair video. So three videos already planned. The content is coming, guys. Sanded and sanded with 1000. Firstly, I'm obviously going to mask off the uh, bonnet. So what I'm going to do, clean these up, let them dry, mask off the bonnet. There we go, all protected. Done some extra tape around here so there's no edges that the uh, paint can get under. Also, look at this bad boy. Ooh. Garage is filled with spiders. Oh, that one's been done. Unlucky, mate. Just waiting for these to dry off. Fill the alcohol, there's still a little bit of alcohol left. Gonna wait for the alcohol to dry off, then we're gonna spray. Don't know how many coats, we'll, uh, we'll review the coats as we go. You can see the cracks a little bit better now. All the way up there. See them? Not too noticeable. But, you know, when you are a car guy, you know every single little thing about every inch of your car. One thing I need to do as well, might do this quickly now. That's kind of just hanging there. Hopefully that stops going places now. I've, uh, glued that back on. For all you professional spray painters, Look away now. Um, I've definitely got a mask on. I've definitely got a vented room. And I have definitely got the skills to do this. All of that is false. I will cover the old, uh, the old musha though, just in case. Looking fresh already. Give them 20 minutes to dry. Then we'll find another coat. So my plan is to do one more coat after this and then clear coat and then have a look at it. And then we're done. That's the third coat dryer. They do look so much better. The crack is very visible, but again, certain bits of light you can't see it. It's all good. Time for the clear coat.
Don't know if I should go for another layer of clear coat, but that is the first coat. They do just look so much better. Just halfway through taking off that ST badge because I don't want it on there anymore, uh, whilst I'm waiting for the clear coat to dry. Looks cleaner. Just gonna do two coats. So that's the final product. Just gonna wait for this to dry up before I remove all this, just in case there's any wet paint. We're inside the car now. Oh look, it's the camera. Another thing I wanted to do quickly is to swap this with this. I've seen it done before. Easy enough, pull the phone holder out, pull the radio out, push this out, re-plug it in back there. Sweet. So we've done a few things today then. We've sorted that out, hopefully. I'm gonna leave that to dry. We've resprayed the vents. We've taken that ST badge that was there off and we've changed over the side of the phone holder. Small little things, but all stuff I want to get done eventually. Now the only thing left is the headlights. But again, I haven't got the stuff to do that cause the eBay seller is a mong. That's just a little mark from uh, the uh, PVC tape. One thing that did happen, if you can see it too well, yeah, a little bit come off there when I was peeling the tape off. But, excuse the dirty bonnet, it do look a lot nicer. And I've got an answer for this. Now it's not 100% perfect, but it is 80% better than what it was. I really didn't like the flaky kind of greyish look. It's making the car look a little bit more polished. Um, like I was saying, if you want more Mark VI content, go and check out the uh, the guys I mentioned. There should be another video up maybe this week, this weekend. Not this weekend, next weekend with the headlights. And potentially another video if I get the bits in time. Yeah, we're getting there. The car's getting clean for, uh, for Ford Fair. Again, if you're at Ford Fair... Come and say hello, come and get a sticker off me. Come and say hello to the boys and girls on the Ford Fair stand. I will uh, I will catch you next time when we'll be sorting out these tacky headlights. It's gonna be a similar process to these. And they're going probably a little bit darker. Right, catch you then.